Hi, Congresswoman Jennifer McClellan. I am here at the Sprout School in Bainbridge in Southside, Richmond. I just toured and saw the amazing things that are happening inside. Uh, but I wanted to also talk about how on September 30th, the Child Care Stabilization Front funds from the American Rescue Plan are set to expire if we don't act in Congress. And the resulting child care cliff will have dire consequences for providers like the Sprout School here. 3.2 million children nationwide will lose their child care spots, 70,000 child care programs will close, and there will be a $10.6 billion loss in economic impact each year. In Virginia, that translates to over 88,000 children losing their spots at schools just like this, and nearly 1,400 child care programs that could close. Last month, I joined Congresswoman Suzanne Bonamici, Senator Tim Kaine, and House and Senate Democrats in calling on the Biden-Harris administration to support increased funding for the child care sector to stave off the cliff. Meanwhile, House Republicans are proposing $4.8 billion in cuts to child care programs in this year's appropriations bills, including a $75 million cut to child care resources, particularly for low-income college students, and a $750 million cut to Head Start and Early Head Start funding. As one of the few mothers with young children in Congress and even fewer mothers of color, I know all too well that child care costs have exploded over the past 10 years and working families are feeling the pinch. More importantly, I understand the importance of child care and early childhood education, not only in helping parents work, but in laying a strong foundation for K-12 learning. I'm committed to doing all I can to provide relief for families from the child care crisis and to avoid the child care cliff. Stay tuned for updates as we return to Washington next week.